Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's a show we do on the channel each and every Wednesday. New album, new release reviews for you. Today we're going to take a look at a reissue, a remaster of a classic album by a classic artist. One of my favorite guitar players of all time. Mr. Robin Trower, twice removed from yesterday, is the reissue. Because, of course, 50 years ago this year... 1973, it's now 2023, it's the 50th anniversary of Twice Removed from Yesterday. And uh, yeah, honestly and, and ironically enough, they don't really say that anywhere on here. It was on the little sticker, the little um, hype sticker, but not anywhere on the album itself. But uh, let's take a look here. So it's in a little digipack here. you got two discs. First disc is the remastered version, okay, remastered by... Uh, Phil Kincaid at Alchemy Mastering at AIR Studios in 2023. And uh, disc two is made up of uh, a single B-side, not included on the regular album, a couple alternate and rough mixes, and then four John Peel BBC Live sessions from uh, March 26, 1973. So there's what you got. The only disappointment I think I have in this reissue here is there's no booklet with like additional information on the album and you know because this is the debut album the start of a very cool career by a guy coming from Procol Harum right you've got uh, Reg Isidore on drums of course the late great James Dewar on bass and vocals coming over from Stone the Crow with Maggie Bell right another really cool band I mean this is a very notable release I would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more love given in you know, a nice booklet or something like that. But anyway, regardless, um, what else have we got here? All songs written by Dewar Trower, except for I Can't Wait Much Longer, which is written by uh, Frankie Miller, Robin Trower. Right? Frankie Miller, that's right. Hannah, um, Reg Isidore also helps out with that. And Rock Me Baby, of course, is an old B.B. King blues song. So, uh, yeah, what else here? Uh, blah, 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 anything? No other real information? No, that's about it. So, anyway... If you've never heard this album before, this is uh, not the pinnacle of the Robin Trower solo career, but a great debut and a great start. It's easily a top five album from him, I would say. Uh, what's the music like? Blues rock, psychedelic rock, a little bit of hard rock in there too. It's just to me, whenever I think of Robin Trower, it's like psych bluesy psychedelic rock, right? That's, that's what it is. Uh, power trio stuff, great vocals, tons of groove searing guitar solos cool riffs and things right uh you got starts off with i can't wait much longer which i absolutely love what a moody bluesy kind of ominous track um even better on the live album i would say his robin trower live album but still really cool on here good kind of slow build song nice use of like effects you know he always fuzz and univibe and wah wah right and Phaser and you know Robin uses all sorts of cool things. Uh, I can wait much longer. It's terrific, great vocal from James Dewar on that. Then you got Daydream, one of his most beautiful kind of ballads. Right, Daydream is just absolutely gorgeous. Nice little Hendrix seed solos in there too. Really, really cool song. Then you got Hannah <clears throat> again, another moody, just kind of foreboding. You know the. The riffs, the way the guitar work just kind of washes around and like simmers and boils. Boom, 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 boom. That's so good. And then you got Jimmy's great vocals. Excellent. Then you got the funky, there's some cool funky stuff on here too. Man of the World is on here. Uh, that's just a good kind of driving, bluesy, funky rock song. And then you got the terrific I Can't Stand It which has just a great guitar lick throughout the whole song. Another killer track, Rock Me Baby, of course, his interpretation of the great B.B. Uh, King Blues track. That has become, since this very first album, a staple of every Robin Trower live set for all these years, right? Rock Me Baby is all sorts of fun, really, really good. Uh, then you got the killer psychedelic title track, Twice Removed from Yesterday. So good. It's one of his great early songs. I can't believe that never became like a staple in the live set either alongside Bridge of Size and Day of the Eagle and you know a lot of these other songs because you know I Can't Wait Much Longer, Daydream and Rock Me Baby those are staples of the live set for years and years and years decade after decade after decade twice removed from yesterday it's got this cool little lick and I mean, the guitar work is so good excellent Sinner song 
I mean, that just, oh, that guitar riff is just terrific. Uh, just absolutely terrific. Um, yeah, so good. And then, of course, the lush, gorgeous ballerina to kind of end the album. Uh, this is a terrific album, right? I mean, you can't go wrong with early Robin Trower. As far as how's the remaster sound, it sounds great, right? I never thought this was a bad sounding album to begin with. Uh, you know, maybe it's a little cleaned up and whatnot. It just sounds great. It sounds great. I would think for most people, though, it's the stuff on disc two that's going to be the real reason to go and seek this out. Uh, first, you've got Take a Fast Train, which is the uh, single B-side. Um, single to what, you might ask? I don't remember what the single was on this album. Was it Daydream? Was it I Can't Wait Much Longer? Was it Rock Me Baby? I don't remember. They don't really list it on here either. But Take a Fast Train is excellent. Good, bluesy, hard rock song. Great guitar work. Great vocal. Uh, great drum work. Uh, would have fit right on the album easily and I can't believe it's I've never heard the song before and I've been a Trower fan for not quite 50 years but going on 45 years and I am amazed that I never heard Take a Fast Train I'm sure it's been available I just never went and looked for it never knew of its existence shame on me that's right I know terrific uh, then you got Man of the World Hannah and Ballerina alternate and rough mixes of those Pretty cool. They don't sound all that much different, but you know, kind of cool to hear. Uh, you know that th those type of things are like you listen to it once or twice and whatever. But then you got the John Peel BBC sessions from, like I said, March 26, 1973. So you've got Twice Removed from Yesterday, really good. Uh, Man of the World, really good. Another really excellent version of Daydream, and then Sinner's Song to kind of the raucous, a raucous version of that to finish out the album, uh, or to finish out the little. BBC Live set. So, really cool. Um, you know, for my money, getting those four BBC session tracks and take a fast train is reason enough to for, for me to easily recommend this, even if you already have Twice Removed from yesterday. And, and you know, if you're a Trower fan, you're going to want to get this. So, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this. Um, like I said, my only misgiving about it is that I wish they would have um, included some nice booklet in here that just kind of commemorated the 50 years a little bit more. Nice essay from someone, anybody, right? Anybody who is a, uh, a Rob, knows a lot about Robin Trower who could have written something and given some more factoids and things. I think that would have been really cool. Uh, it also might have made sense. Um, I know a lot of labels don't like to do this, but I think it also would have been cool to put take a fast train and throw it into onto side on, onto CD one and make it part of the regular album. Uh, to see how the album sounds sequenced with all of the songs, including that session track, in with the rest of the album. Because I think it fits, totally fits on the album. Very, very cool. And then leave all the alternate mixes and the light and the BBC session stuff on disc two. But nobody asked me, right? So, yeah, I would highly recommend this. If you're a Trower fan, you're going to want to check it out. Uh, and like I said, folks are going to ask, well, how good is the remaster? Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Um, is it, you know, breathtakingly great, better than the last CD reissue of uh, Twice Removed from Yesterday. I, I don't know. Uh, again, I don't have like uh, amazing stereo equipment that's going to let me sit and analyze this for weeks on end. But uh, to me, it sounds really good. But all the additional stuff is very, very cool as well. So yeah, go check it out. And visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. So thanks in advance for all your support there. And uh, we'll see you here on Sea of Tranquility with more stuff. Tune in for more reviews coming up today. And, uh, yeah, I'll let the cat out of the bag. So it's not official yet, but uh, apparently Robin Trower wants to come on the show and talk to us about this 50-year anniversary reissue. So I'm going to try everything I can do to make that happen because uh, they, they came they came uh, to me asking to do it, and uh, you know I want to get him on here because he's one of my heroes. So, uh, yeah, so more to come on that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.